delving deeper into teaching number 11 in our study of the book of Revelation. In his self-introduction to the congregation in Laodicea there in the original language is a great controversy for the scholars. For the phrase, the beginning of God's creation. Oh my goodness. The ambiguity is in the Greek and it can lead to interpretation of the phrase that mean that either God created Jesus or it can mean that Jesus began the process of creation. Now for we who believe in the Trinity, one God in three persons, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, it's not a hard uh, to choose which is the correct position. Jesus is not a creation. Jesus is God. Now, it may seem insignificant to idea today because of its familiarity, but in the time of the New Testament, the Gnostic teachers proclaimed that God was so utterly spirit that he would not stoop to dirtying his hands by creating anything material. So God created Jesus to do the dirty work. Now, Jesus, not being God, made mistakes, and that's why things are messed up and flawed uh, from the very beginning. The goal of the Gnostics, of course, is to escape the material and ascend to the spiritual. What we tend to gloss over as we read the scripture, sometimes hidden within the very words, there's a very important teaching, and this is one, for it refutes that false teaching of the Gnostics. Jesus identifies himself as the creator. It elevates Jesus' status uh, far beyond being a mere human prophet or teacher. He is the architect of the universe the source of all existence. Such an affirmation affirms his equality with God the Father. As creator, he created humanity, and so he has a special connection with what he has made. Each and every one of us is part of what he made, and only the creator can redeem his creation. Jesus as a creator reveals that the universe is not some random science anomaly, but rather it was a deliberate act of love. This is why Jesus is called the Alpha and the Omega. In him, each of us find our start. And in him, each of us find our telos, our, our meaning, our, our purpose, our, our place in eternity. Thus, he is the Amen, the one who can be trusted. My friends, you can trust in Jesus.